Hey Stone, how are you today? Uh, I'm here with, with my friend Easton, and uh, we have the honor of talking just a few moments about our reading from today, 1 Samuel chapter 4 and 1 Samuel chapter 5. And Easton, they are action-packed. There's yeah. encouragements, and there's challenges, and there's a lot going on. And our reading kicked off with chapter 4. Yeah, um, in chapter 4, we can definitely see the Israelites are in battle against the Philistines. Yeah. And um, they're, you know, they're going back and forth, and they decide that their, their tool that they're going to use is the Ark of the Covenant, which represents the presence of God. And yeah. so what ends up happening is they actually end up losing. The Israelites lose, yeah. even though they bring in the Ark, and the Philistines capture it, we saw. And that causes a whole other slew of problems yeah. in chapter 5. Yeah. But what we see in 4 is that like the Israelites lost, and they really tried to manipulate the power of God. Yes. Yeah, and, you're right. And, tried to turn the ark into a tool like i said yeah. and um yeah and the result of that the hand of the hand of god kind of fell on them and uh the opposite happened they lost and um i just think they did not trust in god they did not pray or really believe in a sovereign god that was going to take care yeah. of them through their yeah. trials and and standing up against their enemies but yeah, they really tried to take the situation yeah. in their own hands. Well, I, I, I think there's a warning for us there as well, don't you think, yeah, oh, too, yeah. that, that w we want to be sure that in our faith, we're not trying to manipulate God. Yeah. You know, and, and there are different ways that we do that, E, what, through... Uh, you know, trying to, yeah, well, contingent con promises, contingent yeah. promises, saying, yeah. say, well, God, if you'll do this for me, then I'll serve you. Yeah. You know, yeah. if you do yeah. this for me, mm -hmm. I'll go to church. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah superstitions yeah. where you're, yes. yeah. Say, I'm going to be sure and do this, do this, because I want to, in, in some ways, elicit the favor of God. Yeah, yeah. And so I think we've got to be careful. I think it's a good mm -hmm. word that we don't in any way try to manipulate uh, the presence or the power of God, but recognize God for who he is. And then we, we, we just read in chapter 5 a pretty hilarious chapter. <laughs> yeah. So, so they, they, they bring the ark back, and they've got this idol, this false god named Dagon. Now, it, it, this false god of the Philistines was actually almost like a fish god, half man, <laughs> half fish. And so a little Aquaman right? yeah, yeah. going on in the uh, first name of chapter five. Ark is there. They come in, Dagon, this false god's on the ground. They come in the next day, man, he's just yeah. broken, broken to pieces. Head fell off. I think. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Just, just are, yeah. intense. Yeah, really intense. Oh. But just really, really showing the power of God. That God is mighty and God is powerful. And, and I think, again, it's a reminder for us that, man, this is how powerful our God is. So I just encourage you today, no matter what you're facing, no matter what just seems enormous in your life right now, God is powerful. Yeah. Man, there's nothing beyond the power and the presence of God. And so be encouraged that that is the bigness of the God that we serve. Yeah. And so from this battle to the death of Eli, mm -hmm. you know, when he hears that the ark, you know, has been captured to just the, the power uh, of God, seeing him work, be, be encouraged with that today.